and welcome to a 25.3 release roundup video. My name is Jason Murphy, head nerd for N Central. So we're gonna talk about some quality of life enhancements. We're gonna talk about some back end changes that we've been making, and we're gonna talk about CMMC. Check this out. Okay, so let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, N Central 25.3, but before we do, we gotta go a little bit back in time, only because in 24.3, uh, we then kicked off uh, in central kind of auditing and logging. Okay, so now what you can do, if you're not familiar, is that you can connect, actually configure your in central server for syslog export. And if you have a sim, um, whether it's ad lumen or a syslog server, you can now point those syslogs directly to that syslog and capture those and report on those and create rules around them. Um, just know that in 25.3, what we have done is included create discovery job and modify discovery job. So we've included those two, uh, auditing, uh, entries within the, um, the full gamut of the, uh, auditing export. Okay. So that is something that, uh, we have now brought into 25.3. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about um, agent improvements within the UI of InCentral. Now, before we go into anything, I do want to preface that sometimes uh, when we discover devices or put agents on devices, there can also be problems with the device itself. So being able to identify those things directly on the device. And so if we're going to configuration and then asset discovery, you're going to see, and you may have seen this for a little while now, uh, that we have added some columns around WMI, registry query, net BIOS, SNMP, admin share, SSH. So we've added all those fields and effectively, if none of these work, we have to kind of rely on some backend technology to kind of, you know, make the device unique. Now that being said, if you go ahead and try to import, what we've done is added a little warning message here, right? basically saying that you have selected at least one device without access to any of these things. Okay. There could be some, uh, accessibility issues. Uh, just know that you can accept and move on if you want to. Okay. But it's just a little warning message, kind of a quality of life improvement, uh, that I described at the very beginning. And while we're on that same vein of quality of life improvements around the agents within the UI of Central, I do want to also highlight, uh, that when we come into administration and then defaults, we have now made a, a pretty good change to what are called discovery defaults. Now the discovery default itself is fairly the same. Previously, you could add new Mac addresses to exclude. Now, based on the discovery of the devices that we're trying to pull into in central, we will recognize that there could also be potential duplicates, triplicates, um, many, many devices using effectively the same Mac address. Now, when we come in here, what we can do is now add those to the exclusion. And then what we're going to start doing is not just relying on Mac address, but some other backend technologies that we have, we use to be able to, um, uniqify for lack of a better term, uh, the devices within, uh, and central so that we can, you know, not effectively merge them all into a single a device, which can happen, especially when you're getting into gold imaging, um, using, um, imaging processes without sysprep or what have you. Okay. So that is a really great quality of life improvement that I know a lot of our partners are going to really look forward to. Now, next up, what we're going to talk about is CMMC and no, I do not mean, uh, the CNC music factory. We're actually talking about cybersecurity here. I do want to preface that we have been spending the bulk of this year building a CMMC2 compliant version of Ncentral. Um, and for those who aren't in the now, uh, we are working on that and uh, it is a, a very labor intensive venture. Um, just know that that CMMC compliant version of Ncentral um, is aimed around uh, the Q4 timeframe. Uh, we will be seeking partners um, and, you know, people to obviously hop in and drive that and help us with that. Uh, so just keep up, uh, with obviously myself and the rest of the product work here at enable. Um, and you'll see obviously additional updates from us on that. Again, uh, CMMC compliant version. Uh, we have done a lot of work on that, uh, within this particular build as well. Okay. So that concludes the release roundup video for 25.3.
I think you'll find with the CMMC enhancements, FIPS 140-3 libraries have been put into this particular release, along with all of the other quality of life enhancements. This is going to be a great upgrade for you. Uh, my name is Jason Murphy, head nerd for Central.